We are checking in with yeah. April. April is outside. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my goodness, the kids are so go, into this. Garden guy, we're talking kids gardening. And you've got your daughter and your granddaughter here. I do. Here. Isla's over here. Carrie Ann's over here. Here's another begonia for you. And somewhere, oh. There's Olivia right here. These are all my oh. granddaughters right there. Oh Two of them gosh. and, of course, my daughter. And then lots of other kids. You want to introduce some of these kids out here? Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> well, I think that might take up our whole segment time. So why don't, we instead, why don't we instead talk about what they're doing here this morning? Um, Charlie just said, look what I made. They're so excited about they this. They are. There's some begonias here. We've got some marigolds here. These are all flowers that do real well with kids. Mm -hmm. And they're real easy to grow, especially in these small pots. So you need some real good potting soil. And, of course, a little bit of lava sand in there and a little bit of maybe some extreme granules. And you can okay. see they're doing real well with them right now. And then, of course, there's one right over here. This is called a Christmas cactus. Can you guys see it? Can you hold Ooh, that up to the that. camera right there? You this is one that. they pass on for like generations. And you can see that guy right there. And this is one that's kind of one of those legosoil type plants. Mm -hmm. Oh, And so there's a lot of different types of plants you can grow with kids. And so mm -hmm. you want those sensory type plants and you want the ones that are visually. So the sensory, well, of course, okay. are a lot of different types of what we call herbs. And there's a lot of herbs out here that work real well, April. Mm -hmm. And you can see the cloves out here, the oregano, basil, one of my favorite because the fact that during the summertime mm -hmm. works out fantastic because I love it loves it. And, hot and stuff. the kids probably are gonna love to see this stuff grow. I mean Charlie's really getting into planting this. It took me a minute to kind of convince some of our kids it's okay to get dirty. This makes <laughs> me think I need to get them out and about a little bit more. Oh you betcha. In fact when you're uh, out there with kids and they're learning about gardening, you're only learning about science and math yeah. and everything else that goes along with it. And so they're doing a real good job you can see that yeah. go over there charlie what you make what is this a flower it is a flower <laughs> do you know what kind that is uh, i know somebody you can ask right here <laughs> it's a garden guy what is that this? is a marigold right there oh a marigold should we plant some of those at our house yeah it's very pretty huh who else has got something here taylor did you plant that there's one, here. There, there's one right there i know that one hasn't opened yet uh it's like what'd you make here well, not really make, but you're going to plant it. You're going to put it in the pot? Yeah. And take it home? Yeah. Is this super fun? Yeah. Taylor, have you done something like this before? Did your mom put you to work? Your mom Gina put you to work in the garden? No. I think she needs to. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. This is, this is your granddaughter. This is my granddaughter. This is Olivia. She's a great gardener, too. Do you do you learn lots of knowledge about the garden from, from your grandpa? What do you call him? Uh, do you call him Grandpa? Grandpa Garden Guy? I think she calls him Papa. Was your was your first word diatomaceous earth? No. How about beneficial nematodes? Oh my god. <laughs> it makes me giggle too every time he says it. I think these are words he's just making up, don't you? Yeah, uh huh. See, your own granddaughter. Uh, thanks, sunflower. I appreciate that. <laughs> She's giggling. 